Gazaniga came back in, had another good game. He keeps up his 100% record. We we asked a question last week: uh, Is he pushing Loris for a for a start in the uh, in to be up for number one? Considering you know the amount of mistakes Loris has made, we said no last week. He's you know he's still on number one, but Gazaniga keeps impressing. What do you think about that? He does. Um, what I would say. Um, about that is Pochettino loves Lloris. Mm-hmm. I think people people and know that, captain, and, yeah. and their bond goes beyond football, beyond the, yeah. what's on the pitch. It, it, and s- that's not really fair, I guess, when you're kind of judging performances, and that will frustrate some fans who have seen Lloris's performances mm-hmm. drop, and they have. Yeah. There's no, no we can't, we can't that. doubt that. We can't doubt on his day. He's a world class keeper, mm-hmm. and when he's on an off day, he costs us games sometimes. So um, the issue is that Pochettino and Lloris's bond is that. Um, that strong. Uh, Lloris came out in a recent interview and said, my future's tied to Pochettino. Yeah. The two of them, are, you know, again, are really close. That it kind of feels like whatever happens over the next, you know, 12 months or maybe nine months, um, Gazaniga's really establishing himself as the number two. Yeah, um, that's for sure. I don't think that he is going to overtake Hugo any, anytime soon. Um, There'll be some fans that are upset with that, you know. But he some of you guys are going to be upset yeah. with that. But he couldn't do any more, though, could he, Gazaniga, with his opportunities he's had? No, he can't. He, he can't. I think, I think sometimes at Spurs, we kind of overreact with the good and the bad. You know, yeah. if, if we look at Sissoko, or I've got to say this in front of <laughs> the camera, Ben, ben Davies, <laughs> who I got, I got a lot of stick for on Twitter with my praise yeah. of Ben Davies um, on Tuesday night. We, we jump on a bandwagon, and the same when uh, a player has a few decent performances. Um, Gazaniga has shown some good performances, um, some very good, um, some not so great either, um, but has shown a good level. And, you know, we're, we're saying, oh, that's it, Hugo's got to go and Gazaniga's <laughs> yeah. going to come in. I think I read someone saying, should we sell Hugo in the summer now? Let's cash in on Hugo um, and Paolo can be number one. And I, just, I, I don't know. I just think there's a there's an overreaction sometimes for the good and the bad. And I felt that's definitely what happened. That what's happening mm. with Gazaniga. I think he's good. Let him continue to progress. Let's let's come back and in two months time say, wow, you know, he's really pushing. He's had a handful of games, Paolo. Like he, he hasn't yeah. had a, you know, a, a long uh, stretch mm-hmm. of games and he's looked good. Um, so he's pushing, but I don't see him overtaking Hugo anytime soon. The thing is with Paolo, I think why people are jumping on the bandwagon is because we haven't lost a game or drawn a game yeah. with him in goal. We literally won every game. We've yeah. won every single game. He's made some great saves within those games. But the thing is with Loris, when he makes mistakes, it's usually in these big games. And Gazaniga hasn't had these big games to be in. So mm. we don't actually know what he's like in these big games. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one with Hugo because people always ask me, you know, with Loris, you know, is he in the top five, top five goalies in the world? And I painfully have to say no every time Mm -hmm. Mm. and i have to do that because he's to be world class you have to be consistent don't you you know game in game Mm -hmm. out you have to be consistent and he's not sometimes he he is world class and he can make world class performances and sometimes he isn't so it's really it's really a tough one with hugo it's it's painful sometimes but he does make mistakes and it 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 happens more 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 and more frequently and you know, world class goalies don't do that, and that's mm-hmm. what separates them from, you know, from very good to world class. I think Hugo is in a point in his career at the moment, despite winning the World Cup, which is a biz- bizarre thing to say, the World Cup winning captain. Mm-hmm. That he's at the stage where he's very good, but he, I don't believe he's at the, the, you know, the top five in the world. So it's. Uh, but he's our captain someone. as well, so it's gonna he's gonna be hard to move him on if like whenever that time comes um it's always going to be a hard conversation to have when when he's the club captain and he's been asked for so long and he's been such a law servant so i don't, I don't know i don't know when the right time for it for, for for him to leave is i don't think it's right now i still believe he's our number one but it is i don't know i kind of feel like that it is getting to that point where he's making too many mistakes and i don't know when that point hits i got a question is like if loris was to leave yeah. Would you put Gazaniga as a number one or would you look to sign a keeper? I think you would have to look to sign someone to even just to give competition to him, I think. Because well, obviously I don't we're going to need to sign someone to be on the bench or something, but would you sign him as a sub or would you sign a first choice keeper? That's a good question. I think I'd sign a number one. I think I'd sign someone else. Who does Spurs, you know, get though? Yeah, yeah. that's another, that's what, it's what Barnaby said what about last the PSV week. keeper? Who the PA? <laughs> <laughs> he looked alright, didn't he? Yeah, <laughs> don't even know. Oh, well, zoot, zoot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. It's uh, yeah, it's a tough one. You know, where where do we go? Which betters Hugo Lloris? And I think that that's kind of the problem with Spurs at the moment. And maybe we'll get into that more and more general detail. Mm-hmm. That that's our problem. Where we're like, how can Spurs 
how can we get better in terms of our squad? You know, we don't have, are we actually just at our limit? Um, mm. it, it's a real, it's Don't a real tough it. debate. I mean, people yeah. say we are. Some people say no. We just spend some money. You know, easier said than done. Sometimes, it, it's a real tough one. I think Hugo epitomizes that where he's very good, um, and we probably can't get better at this stage than Hugo Lloris. But does that mean we're going to progress? I don't know. You know what summed up Lloris in a nutshell was that performance against West Ham. He was absolutely brilliant. Pretty much won us the game. And then against PSV, the next game, he goes and does that. Yeah. It's like just sums him up completely. Mm. You know what I mean? Time Mayor says, I'd rather get the Ajax keeper. The Ajax keeper? Yeah. Or he's I may as well sign the whole Ajax keeper yeah. around here. <laughs> well, there, <laughs> are, there, are link, there are links with him. Um, yeah. Maybe that's probably, you know, where and that kind of was, you know, we hear mm. links and it's like, oh, he's going to, you know, he's gonna, he's as good as Hugo Lloris. I, I, I don't know um, in terms of in terms of targets, um, but he's definitely one mentioned, so. 